All right, guys, so we're in a new city. We got all four girls in the garage. I have no idea where anything is or how to get around. And we've got no navigation, no navigation, navigation, no navigation. So I know you guys are probably tired of seeing her, but we got to take the Beamer out. Y'all know where to get the key guys. Make life a ride, baby. going I got cruise control I got heated grips I mean I really hate to admit this but I think I might be becoming a beamer boy this line in the middle of the road be careful of man this is what made me go down on the highway so I always get like anxious crossing over that all right we gotta get off here You can't beat this, man. I got my navigation going. Heated grips on, even though I don't need it. It's a nice 80 degree day in December. And I was using cruise control. I wasn't recording, but I was just cruising on the highway. Man, look at this skyline though, of downtown Tampa. Guys, this is the new, uh, the new city, which is kind of wild. <laughs> First ride on the bike in the new city, man. Woo! Golly, sheesh. Welcome to Tampa, baby. When you're in a new city, I don't really know where like the cops like to hang out, where to speed, where not to speed. So I've just kind of been uh, taking it easy. But yeah, right now we're headed to meet up with Jimmy. I'm assume I take a right right here. Yeah, right here. But yeah, we're heading to meet up with a buddy right now. He's got a beautiful bike. He's probably gonna be mad that I am not on my Ducati. But uh, <laughs> like I said, I need a navigation because I have no idea where I'm going. And my helmet with my Cardo unit on it actually got stolen. Oh, uh, here it is. We've made it to the Tampa mural, baby. Oh yeah, destination reach. That was so easy. Reason number 1000 why I love the Beamer here. Alright. And I'm telling you, out in the sunlight, with the sun hitting this carbon on this bike, it is absolutely beautiful, man. Yeah, got the mural. Sheesh! With the bike. New city. Let's go. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I forgot the golden rule, which is to always check your tire pressures before you get out and go for a ride, especially when you're going from hot to cold. It is 80 degrees right now. The last time I rode this bike, it was like 40 degrees out. Which brings me to today's sponsor, which is Fantic. Now, when it comes to tools for my bikes, I am very minimalistic, but I also value quality. And that's where the Fantic X9 Pro tire inflator comes in handy. Now, BMW recommends that you keep your tire pressure at 42 in the rear, 36 in the front. That's a lot higher than what I keep mine at, but we're gonna use our Fantic X9 Pro here to inflate up those pressures so I can show you how quick this thing really is. So we'll go ahead and power it on here. Boom. Right now we're at 38, 39. We'll go up to 42 and click start. So 32 in the front, we wanna go up to 36, boom. And just like that, in under a minute, both tires are inflated and you're good to go. Now my two favorite things about the Fantic X9 is that it can be used for a car, a motorcycle, a bicycle, or even a basketball. It's also extremely lightweight. You can remove the top and this fits all into your pocket. It's also got a rechargeable battery that can be continuously used for up to 23 minutes. And if it detects it's not being used, it'll automatically turn itself off. Right now, Fantic is having a huge holiday sale. So click the link down in the description below to take advantage. Woo, let's go, baby. There he is. 
Pull up on the speciale, baby. Heck yeah, let's go. That thing is beautiful, man. The full act on there. Oh yeah, you got the beamer and then the duck. Shit! That's the side. What's up, man? I love the specialis. These are the only bikes or color wave that makes the skinny body on the uh, V4s look absolutely beautiful, man. I'm not a huge fan of skinny bodies, but like I said, with this livery, it looks absolutely sick. Look at all the dry carbon on there. You got the full ack on there too? Oh, yeah. Oh man, he big money. <laughs> That's so the, awesome. The interesting about, thing about the Speciale yeah. is it was one of the few special limited bikes that came with a full exhaust. Did it really? Scotty doesn't play that anymore. They charge you 63000 plus. Exactly. It, yeah, exact plus install. That is nuts. I did not know that, man. Another reason I love this bike? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't blame you at all. Yeah. This thing is, how many miles are on here? 5,000. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, to see these bikes. Lined up next to each other is pretty sick. Yeah. All right, guys. So we just finished eating at Strand Hill Public. Good food. <laughs> Jimmy and I got caught up talking for a little bit, so now it's kind of cloudy out because it is supposed to rain around like five o'clock, I think. Um, right now it's like two o'clock, so we got a little bit of time. But uh, yeah, I definitely don't want to get rained on. They say if you ride in Florida, you're gonna get rained on. So I'm trying to avoid that <laughs> as far as long as possible. But all right. <laughs> Oh yeah. So we're gonna do a little scenic ride around Tampa Bay. I've never ridden with Jimmy before, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. We said we're gonna have a, a nice little spirited ride. Have some fun, but not stupid. There's a difference. Look how beautiful that bike is, man. Freaking gorgeous. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling a lot of emotions right now. Cause it's kind of like anxiety almost. Not necessarily being scared, but just like the unknown, you know? Like, I go places and I don't know anybody at all. Like, it's very strange. If you ever move somewhere new, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because where I'm from, I knew a lot of people <laughs> from uh, everything that I did. Whether it was the motorcycle stuff or the workout stuff. But I'm excited to take you along on this journey, man. Because I always preach to you guys about chasing your dreams and, you know, going out and being fearless, being relentless. When it comes to that stuff, I can't preach to y'all do that and then not be doing it. I want to show you guys and document and take y'all along for the journey, man. Uh oh. Woo! Wow, look at the water, man. Oh my gosh, you can't beat being by the ocean. Wow. <laughs> I do wish it was sunny out, but. This is still just a vibe, man. <laughs> We're in Tampa, baby. Let's go. <laughs> we got the Beamer. We got the Duck. We got the European bikes out here. Yeah, this is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> we got Jimmy out here, man. Hell yeah. Okay, and we're gonna go all the way around the whole Bay of Tampa, which I'm excited about. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're getting rained on. <laughs> Welcome to Florida, huh? <laughs> Let's go, baby! Let's go! Woo! I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I feel safer riding on the highway as opposed to riding on the street. And the reason is, is that everyone's going in the same direction. Like, there's no intersections they get to be worried about. Anyone making a left turn, 
making a right turn out of like a, a shopping complex or anything like that. This might be a hot take. Definitely think highway riding is much safer than riding on the street, man. No stop and go, everyone's just kind of rolling. Oh, heck yeah. I'm assuming that's where the Bucks play. Cruise control, it never gets old. Now I do want to start doing more like daily uploads for you guys, man. Oh, I see the causeway over there. That's the bridge he was telling me that we're gonna go to. Maybe not so much daily uploads, cause that's just very, very stressful. And I feel like, I mean, the quality of the content has to kinda, it's not gonna be the same versus if you're producing less videos. Cause you have more time to produce videos, more time to film videos versus if you have to get a video up every single day, you have to be recording every single day. And I also live a normal life, so like not crazy eventful stuff is going on every single day. Like it's not any crazy meets or anything like that going on. But yeah, we'll have to come back out here on like a sunny day and see what it looks like. Cause I'm sure it's just gorgeous out here, man. But y'all tell me, what do you want to see? What do you want to see daily uploads or would y'all rather see like less consistent not consistent, still consistent content, but not as frequent. That's the word I'm looking for, frequent. Obviously with my dealership sponsor, do y'all wanna see more like review type videos or do you like the hooligan kind of stuff, even though YouTube doesn't like the hooligan stuff. So I can't post as much of it as I used to post. Y'all like the travel vlogs where I go to different cities for events and whatnot and check out the bike scene out there. Now this is cool. <laughs> it almost feels like you're going up like a roller coaster right now. I get that feeling right before it crests on the very first hill. That's the feeling I'm getting right now. Where it's like clink, 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 and you're like, why did I decide to do this? <laughs> but honestly, after riding bikes, roller coasters really don't scare me anymore. It doesn't give me that like, falling stomach type vibe and i'm assuming just because the g-forces and the acceleration of a bike obviously a roller coaster is not going to accelerate at that rate wow <laughs> this is insane one day we'll come up here and pull over and do a video Sheesh. i love bridges man and i love this water look at this this is gorgeous I'm at a loss of words that this is the new home base, man. There's a cop. <laughs> oh, that sound. Talk to him, Mona. <laughs> yes, sir. At a girl. Now this is a vibe out here. Sheesh. Yeah, if it was sunny, I'll be perfect, but this is still <laughs> sunny. The water is like a turquoise blue. Oh my gosh. All that is. Wow. Yeah, I gotta come back out here for sure. It's like a whole oh yeah. Got seashells over here. Look at this beautiful water. You can see straight through it. But yeah, we'll come back when it's sunny out and you guys can actually enjoy the blueness of the water and the vibes a little bit more, but this is dope. So comment down below, do y'all like the Speciale more or do you like the SP2 livery more? I think this is just so iconic, man, to when they first dropped the Panigales and then we got the Beamer. I like those. Yeah, I, yeah, I appreciate it, man. I had them custom do that. <laughs> yeah, I had them custom do that, man. Shout out to TST for that. We have the different colors. This side we went blue, red, blue. On the other side, we did red, blue, red. It's the details, man. She still needs a little bit of, of work, but we're getting there. I've only had her for like a month or, not a month, but like two or three months. I love this bike though, man.
yeah, y'all comment down below. Let us know. Do you prefer the BMW, the German, or the Italian, man? <laughs> Jimmy's definitely going Italian, huh? He's a little biased. But he did used to own an S1K. I'll say that. So yeah, he's got he's got both in his blood, man. Alright guys, so we are headed back. I need gas and it's gonna start raining here in like an hour or so. Jimmy and I are gonna do a couple pulls. I don't think Jimmy weighs 250. <laughs> like your boy, your boy's thick, man. myself out of gas. <laughs> I don't know Jimmy, I don't know. Freaking wheelie control. Turn it off. There we go. <laughs> yes, sir. Woo. Golly. I love this bike. And I hate to admit it, but I. I'm definitely becoming a Beamer guy. I love my SP2 to death. Like I said, that was my dream bike, but uh, man, this thing's starting to rub off on me, man. I get the hype. I get why you can pull it to any meet, bike meet, and there's like 20 S1Ks. <laughs> like, I get it, guys. I get it. Woo, let's go, Jimmy. What all do you have done to it? Like, performance wise, is it tuned? Tuned with the uh, default Acura tuning. Okay, and then full Acura. He's got the, what was that thing called? I don't remember what that's called. Um, I know what you're talking about because I did mine with the arrow and it was awful. So I bent to mine. And that's it? Do you do filter or anything? And it's got the race filter. And the race filter on there. Right the tuning package for the Acura exhaust. That makes sense. I'll pull on you a little bit. Yeah. How much do you weigh? Uh, 175. Okay, 170. Good yeah. <laughs> 175 on a good day. I'm about 250, so. Jeez. Uncoordinated pool. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, we made it work, but yeah, I'm used to the head nod. Yeah. So that's why I wasn't sure if you were like one, two, three, or, or what, but it's fine. We can always do them another time, too. Let's go. <laughs> well, nice meeting you. Hey, Jimmy, you too, man. Yeah. Thanks for showing me around, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, what a beautiful bike, man. What a beautiful bike. But yeah, guys, I mean, we're full-time doing this now, which is crazy. So if y'all have uh, anything you want to see, like gear review type stuff or just any stuff I'm, <laughs> any stuff I'm not doing yet, y'all have to uh, comment down below. Let me know what type of videos y'all enjoy watching. But you yeah, already see some rain coming. If y'all enjoyed that video, make sure that like button, hit that subscribe button. Join the fast lane gang bang. Woo. We got the directions going. We got my heated grips going. We got about a hour ride back to the house. Also, can someone tell me why there's so many Publixes down here? It's kind of crazy. That's all there is. No other grocery stores. We gotta get out of this rain, man. We're gonna have some fun all the way home for sure.